Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with less equipment, less uh, character classes, more niche builds, less hit points overall and of course stronger enemies with ABA and ABC. We got the Chosen Warlock in front of our gun. It's the last one alive in Operation Death Phase. But we're hopefully assaulting his stronghold, got officers, purifiers, advanced guardians, elite specters, archons, and a sectored prime soldier. That's going to be an interesting uh, fight. I don't know what the advanced guardians are, potentially normal advents. And we're bringing our A team. Finally, we got the Shredstorm cannon. So that should be good. Quite a bit of damage here. A Frodo with um, salvo got the rage suit and um, self heal plus a group heal for everyone Ragnar brings the healing kit um, we we do have played a vest for some extra armor so both of them are rocking three armor primus uh, primus even four armor uh, so quite a bit of armor available frodo has 21 hit points so that's a beefy beefy healer uh, we got the chosen weapons rashi and the katana as well as uh, the chosen sniper and we got wards with death from above and uh, the nice little frozen uh, grenade the only thing that is missing so far is the icarus suit which wards will later uh, take and of course the weapon from the chosen uh, which hopefully frodo will take uh, that auto crits against any um, enemy that is psionically active and to be honest you might want to get tail and rounds they are not forbidden in this run and they are a tiny bit better than dragon rounds plus uh, having dragon rounds and putting them maybe on reckoner instead of that uh, med kit would be an option as well but at least would give us some more agency and some more damage there so these are options for improvement other than that i think we've maxed out that team more or less uh, only uh, covert ops missions can now make them uh, still better. I'm still trying to get the dodge, for instance, up in some hit points. Stay focused. So we got some heavy resistance way. ahead of us. Not our first time in one of these facilities, so we have to assume the chosen know we're here. That didn't stop us before, and it won't stop us today. You know what to do. Locking on to the chosen's energy signature. Uploading the coordinates now. Understood. Move out. Such bravery. Good. Where Such do we need to go? Potentially. Yep. On the bottom God. left. So we're going here and all the way up here and then downwards. Not sure if if you can see it that well, but essentially it's Order just to the left and then downwards. Primus moves up. Jessica gets into a cover position and Reckoner moves up as well. Got some overwatch shots here and there. Good. Carefully moving in. You would scurry back to the shadows where you were spawned. Good. Moving, moving, moving. By the way, fantastic. I mean, look at that. Three armor here, four armor here, two armor here, two armor here, and one armor here. That's not bad. I like the overall kind of size of our equipment. Potentially even going to give um, Quick Feet here. A heavier armor if we do have uh, the time to build another war suit I think that wouldn't be too bad that would give us one more explosive Go. 
good. Moving up, moving up. Moving. And quick feet moves over here. Good. So far we're doing well. We haven't really encountered anything, but that's not necessarily a good sign. If you do not encounter anything for a longer period, that typically means uh, the enemy is clustered up. And that typically means something is awkwardly wrong. Good. Next, uh, next turn we're going to open. We knew there'd be resistance today. You know what to do. Well, the armor. Oh, the down. I'm spotted. See, I just talked about how we're being, uh, how that could mean that there are like dozens of enemies at once and what a surprise Good, good, or not so good. Let's see. Ah, this guy here is a problem. This guy is a problem. Because he can potentially explode. And we will need to use some of our cooldowns. Can't see how we're getting through that without. Alright, is that stunning? No, it's not. I was low key hoping it would. Now, let's directly use the strength of Salvo, which is, she can take one ter uh, shot. Even more hit points to chew through, fantastic. This guy here is still a problem. Might be able to freeze him. Uh, do we want to use that already? Can't really grab. Oh, well, I could, I suppose, wrath grapple somewhere. the worst idea just need to find the right target could wrath grapple over here I want to use saturation file that's that's the core idea And the further I back I am to here, the better. How far does Saturation Fire last? Well, pretty far. So if we were to go to here, it should hit everyone. Yes, Commander. It's a bit strange not to use both of the actions. Oh. 
overdrive. Purifier is being properly set up. Probably set up. And we're going to use a strike in order to maximize our damage. But we're potentially doing it so that we're not giving the target full cover. That's unfortunate. Good, that's the right oh, that's the right approach. Getting all of them. Quick feet. Can go back to here and essentially deal with that guy alone. I'm on the move. Need to go away from the potential explosion. We only need one uh, turn to shoot with a sniper rifle, luckily. Time for cereal. And he did not explode. That's one. That's two. Free reload. So we got two more free reloads afterwards. That's a potential miss. We can't let that happen. First of all, let's deal with this guy here. Hail of bullets would not put him up for a kill. Enemy is still up. Shotgun nicely hits once, but once only. So we gotta use one advanced teamwork, unfortunately. Could be another hit. Ten to twelve. Let's just shoot the weapon normally. It's uh, still good and can crit. Plus takes less uh, ammunition. So we're looking at what enough to still survive. Let's mark this arc on here. All right, instead of marking, we killed it. Not bad either. Got him placeable, and we're moving over here. Only a single shot needs to hit. This guy will not die, unfortunately. He 
zero percent chance to die so we might take some damage but we just need to deal some damage because blade storm will kill it Nice to grapple over here and then kill this guy. Fortunately, we missed the 50 50, otherwise, he would have been dead. I could shift over another advanced teamwork, but I don't want to do that. It's just, it's too wasteful. There's no point in doing that. Fifty fifty to hit him really good. I'll take that. Get it together. Well, he can eventually still miss. I'm all right. Got our help. I'm about to get burnt to a crisp. All right, we got. A nice little regeneration going so so that uh, should really not be a problem let's rupture and make sure this guy is going to die soon wow 16 that is great absolutely lovely Moving up. Target eliminated. Now nah, we don't need to grapple. We're just reloading. And killing this guy. That was overall okay considering the circumstances. We've used one teamwork and one uh, one explosive. Which all things considered is not as bad. We took a little bit of damage so some charges from the stasis west will be gone again not as bad as it could have been we killed like what three archons an elite specter and four advent four high level advent One more reload. One more free reload. Good. I think that this here is the final room, so... Might want to move a bit further. I actually want to wait until overdrive. So let's not um, head there too fast. Position confirmed. Affirmative. Moving out. I move. Moving on target location. Sounds like a chance for I'm a on it. Scanning. Come get some. Also might as well want to reload some of those weapons. Yeah, that's from the final room. Yet for any of us to survive, the elders must not fail. Humanity delays their own salvation. You must submit now before the truth. 
Good. Overwatching. I, by the way, wouldn't have opened the door if I knew that they did not trigger, but it seemed as if they would have already had trigger. So not opening the door would have been foolish. Good. Did you hear something? Digging in. We're eventually up against yet another nasty surprise. And still you defy us. We will help this world together for years. Would the killers be brought me to a base? I would have ended its existence long ago. Good. We're positioning ourselves here. Rabbit. Let's position her here. Good. There is definitely movement in there. Shuffle this here around just a tiny bit. Only now is there hope. Your actions today force the elders' hands. They can no longer afford peace. Wards moves up here, and Reckoner actually needs to move up here. Good. One more round, and then we can breach. They seem to be on that side. Double check where they are hiding. Could be as far back as here. Really spot them out, so going to do kind of a preemptive kill zone. This area is mine. Opening the door. Thanks for that fantastic and uh, movement encounter. That was so accurate. Overdriving. Good. We're removing that explosive. Almost down. Very good. And let's hit the soldier. Almost down as well. I think we can go in with cereal again. One down. Target neutralized. Good riddance. That's two down. A 
Let's prep this guy. All right, Sirio. That's three down. Reloading. Prime soldier, all right. Looks like a beast. Heading there now. Just out of curiosity, would the chain shot kill him? Yep, all right. Let's try. Taken care of. Fantastic. Orbit confirmed. On the move. I'll monitor that area. On my way. Well, that sectoid pack was comparably speaking easy. I I was originally planning to maybe even close the door again on them. Because uh, they had uh, only one action, they couldn't have opened the door. Good. We're just going through a couple of rounds. Three more rounds. And by the way, I totally don't mind that we're skipping one pack. Two more rounds. Just getting all of uh, the cooldowns back. Good. So far, a relatively speaking quiet first round. Good. Time to use the ascension gate and off we go, guys. We know what's coming next. Well, thank you. They immediately start to trigger. Okay, starting over here. Heading out. Vortz moves up. And let's start injuring that guy. You just scuttle off the surprises. Give him that good old 100% hit, thanks to uh, thanks to the special abilities We're using Serio, and that's a kill. And whilst we're at it, let's get that priest. Target neutralized. Good, we're skipping on the loot. I mentioned it before. The really important part is getting everybody 
in position, having the cooldowns ready. And making sure we're okay. Cooldowns in this case are also grappling hook and definitely rapid fire. This rapid fire will be one of our key measures of de uh, destroying the sarcophagus in a fast way. Not sure if we can grapple over from here to here, it would be nice though. to wait a few rounds and then it's engagement time one not sure why there is alien activity technically there shouldn't be two okay so let's take a look two more rounds And one more round. Good. Everybody should be reloaded. Yep, yep. Sort of. I think the superior outloader still has a charge. Good. Frodo moves up. Does not trigger yet. Primus. Moves up. Does not trigger. Wards. Moves up. Does not trigger. Jessica does the same. Wigfeet does the same. And Rick does the same. Okay, cool. Grapple. Yeah, grapple would work from there. Good, wait. If grapple works from there, we're actually moving Jessica down and quick feet up. Gotta optimize the little things. Okay. So. Let's take a good look what the Warlock has to offer. Moving in. Well, hello there. Resilient, watchful, revengeful, and can summon. I hope that we're going to get him down in one turn. Let me rephrase that. I am pretty sure that we're going to get him down in one turn. Because everything else would be unacceptable. Wurtz moves up into high ground. Plasma grenade to remove most of the cover here. Get ready for a surprise. do we not need do we need or do we not need overcharge to get him down tactical movement i think we need we need overcharge hey to do it because that reduces our damage overdrive sorry that reduces our damage against the sarcophagus on the other hand don't be a penny pincher and safe at this uh, at the wrong moment Are your old soldiers so demoralized that you must 
now rely on the efforts of a machine. We're saving our rapid fire. Our percent shot, this is going to mark him as well. He's not marked, okay? Well. This will mark him. Unfortunately, this guy has minus 100 resilience, so there's just no way we're critting him. But we can mark him, which has just happened. Continuing to hit him. And yes, he just has too many hit points. We have to resort to our cooldowns. and 36 uh, which means we can just move up still hit him and be in range of the sarcophagus next turn good he just shed his pants and that gives us exactly one turn to deal with the sarcophagus Unfortunately, of course, additional enemies are coming in. Let's maybe start Well that would trigger overwatch I hate to say it but we're in a bit of a suboptimal situation here Reloading. Okay, who would get that extra hit? Okay, I see. Okay, let me think that through. Um, we do have two turns. Don't want to fight against uh, the Warlock again, so the Sarcophagus is absolute highest priority here. Uh, even if that means that we're taking some damage. can beat the overwatch by essentially moving over here that will trigger overwatch into lightning reflexes and like I said the main target now is the sarcophagus and nothing but the sarcophagus
Moving over. Moving to position. I think one cannot rupture the sarcophagus. I think that's impossible. I've never tried it though. Let's try it. I think it does not work. 50 points of damage is fantastic. It's a lot of damage. But I was correct. You cannot rupture it. What you can do though is you can dual strike it. Very good. It worked like a charm. You can definitely chain shot it, although there is a chance to miss with chain shot. Not this time. Trying to find a good angle. Hmm. This one here might be the right one. Frostbiting the Archon. Very good. That worked. And that should kill the sarcophagus. One, two down. With the capacitor damaged, the regeneration process has been interrupted. I believe now would be the appropriate time to take them out. Then you know what to do. Take that creature down. Okay. We're starting to hit. I think combat protocol would not be enough. No, it won't. So what we're going to do is haywire protocol and just trying to shut it down. That way we board ourselves another turn. Would have even taken it over, but we only need to kill the Warlock. Those guys are taken out for one turn. Our positioning is a bit scrambled, uh, scrambled shall I say. Pulling ourselves in a better position. Gotta shred him as much as we can. He's not going to be um, critted anyways with a Shred Storm Cannon with a slightly higher chance of hitting him, three shredding. And with that, we would hit as well, but his resilience prevents him from going down. 
I think we're taking the Shred Storm Cannon just for the chance for a little bit more damage and cover removal. And it's shredded for four. Fantastic. Actually, one more turn until Grapple is back. Let's mark the guy. If we were to normally hit him, no, that wouldn't work out. If I was to uh, hit him with a melee. That would give us Bladestorm next turn, so we're taking that instead. It gives us that extra one extra attack. Okay, how can we get a bit closer into a better position or something? Moving up, full cover. I think we still need to oh, yeah. mark him. And we're doing that by just taking a shot. Wards hits him with hail of bullets. Now is the right time for dual strike. Unfortunately, a miss. Come on. I had expected nothing less than failure. Wow. Okay. Close. At least make a good show of it. I am with Advanced you. teamwork. Hail of bullets. Seventy-five percent, good enough for me. Come on. That will not be enough. It will be wiped clean. And there he goes down. Fantastic. Like the scrub noob he was, he falls into that pit. Easy, but we managed to pull it off, Commander. Fantastic. If only we could see the look on the elders' faces. That was satisfying. That was very satisfying. Good. Wow. So we got the warlock weapon, and finally, this bugger is never going to show up again. Done with the days where he plans an elaborate, elaborate scam. Fantastic. Good. We are finishing the uh, codex data, then let's go for the rest here. And I think we still had quite a few days where the prime team was out of commission. Well, that's unfortunate. Tired for 11 days. In 8 days for the secondary team. Well. That's pretty brutal. Do we have a team that we could theoretically send? We could send Pri uh, Primus. Lockdown. Meltdown. Beast. Who was never on a mission yet. Grant your sharpshooter. Zirkum is available. We just need a specialist, and Tapper would be that one. So, technically speaking, we do have a B ish team available, which we could use. 
Secundos actually could be uh, uh, part of that team because uh, they still need experience, but that team we could use in order to already trigger the um, Archon King because that's the last item uh, that is still missing for us. I want to get all of uh, the armor and since we can't kill him right away we need to essentially trigger him and then he'll come back a bit later on to another mission. So it's potentially prudent to do that now. Which kind of brings also this episode to an end. It took a while to go through the Warlock, but it was a very nice fight. And finally all three of the Chosens were biting the dust. So what's left is we now need to get the Icarus suit. Uh, we deploy the B team in order to do that. So that should uh, work out well. Then after the Icarus suit has been has been retrieved we need to definitely research a bit and i think we can then start with the um, golden path missions i'm curious to see how those play out because i've also installed um, a better campaign so i think what it was called which means uh, the uh, golden path missions will have different enemies and they will be populated with the enemies from a better advent and that's really what's going to happen so might as well uh, might as well trigger the archon king now and then sort of go on to uh, the golden path missions plus use the remaining time hopefully in the resistance ring to a get new resistance orders maybe a breakthrough for plasma weapons who knows uh, that that could be a thing uh, that plus one damage would come in handy Elsewise, we're getting some more dodge, and currently our king of dodge, Quick Feet, is sitting at 61. Maybe we'll get that up to 80 ish before the end of uh, the campaign. And yeah, research of the last weapons, as well as the Icarus suit, the usual. So, still some uh, some things to do. Uh, to do the one thing that I hope we are going to get is. Um, Another experimental powered weapon, uh, best case scenario would be the flamethrower, because that is an item which I couldn't have showcased yet, so it would be cool to have that item in our back pocket and simply be able to use it, and uh, otherwise uh, having a war suit wouldn't be bad either, so maybe having that extra experimental weapon, um, if it is uh, the blaster bomb, then we can also build a war suit and uh, strengthen our prime team just a tiny bit more um, to make them even more potent. That's that for now. Thank you for uh, staying with me that deep into the campaign. If you enjoyed the fight with Warlock, leave a Warlock-ish uh, comment down below and hit the like button. See you in two days, guys. Bye-bye.